Hey, let's face it, of all the typical Tennessee farm animals, mules get a bad rap. They're considered stubborn, lazy, not very pleasant to deal with. Well, those people probably really don't know mules, not like members of the Tennessee Mule Skinners Association. Rob Wiles went to Woodbury, where to these folks, driving mules is a lot more satisfying than anything modern and mechanized. On a beautiful Saturday morning in Woodbury, these folks gather to do something their ancestors would have considered back-breaking work. Cutting hay using the latest technology of the 18th century, the mule team. They are members of the Middle Tennessee Mule Skinners Association. Their president, Andy Duggan, says to them, Mules are just about as good as it gets. A mule is, a, is, is really a smart animal. Uh, they get a bad rap, you know, of course they're stubborn and, and they get set in their ways, but they're really smart. Take for instance, uh, if, you, if your horse gets out and gets hung in the fence, he'll tear himself all to pieces to get out. If that mule gets hung in the fence, he'll wait for you to come get him. He'll take care of himself. And if you've got him trained right, he'll take care of you too. Mules are smart smart enough not to work unless they're asked to, which means Thomas Summers, who lives outside Morrison, has put on a lot of harnesses over the years. I was driving mules when I was six year old by myself, the wagon, but then I flew with them ever since it's about. Mr. Summers has a profound respect, even affection for mules even puts them through their paces at shows around the country. He's a national champion mule skinner who believes mules should be recognized not only as showbiz animals, but the hard workers they are. The younger generation never saw anything like this. People raised in town, so it gives people a chance to see, you know, how mules used to be work when they had to make them for a living. So that's and we just like to get together and do it. Step up, our boys. The younger generation is also into mules. Take Trent Hancock of McMinnville. He used to be a horse lover, but now finds he's really more attracted to spending times with Ike and Pete, his mules. Whoop. They just work. Just amazed. You'll see after a while how they work. They just so smart and easy. I love the old heritage. I just, I just love to keep it going for the older folk and stuff. It's just the people love to talk to you and come out and socialize about it and stuff. Sure, there's plenty to talk about when a bunch of mule skinners get together and enjoy each other's company and experiences with animals they all respect and appreciate in a shared relationship. It's, it's kind of a swap off. They, they ask us to feed them and we ask them to work. So far, they hadn't said anything against it, so. So they were telling me anybody could learn to drive this, is that true? Yes, sir. I'm put you to the test, because I'm anybody, believe me. How would right. how would I drive this thing? You just walk up there, step up there, put okay. one line in your right hand, one line in your left hand. All right, so just sit up here on it. One in the right hand, one in the left hand. Ask them to step up. Ask them or get their attention. Yeah, both whichever way you can do it. All right, step up there. Step Pete. up, step up, Pete. Come on, boy. Step up now. There we go. Boy, that's good. It's easy, since the mules are smarter than the driver, for sure. Keep up, boys. Once the mules are harnessed and set to work, the labor for the human driving them can be relaxing. Marketing back to a day when people didn't have to have music blaring all the time. The sound of the labor itself could free the mind to actually think. 
when you get out here cutting this hay and you're listening to that mower click off and you're just in your own little world just meditating, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's, it's really a lot of fun. You might say these mules and mule skinners are harnessed together by an appreciation of and an attachment to the past. And in turn, they do their best to make certain that appreciation is passed along to the much younger generation who may grow up themselves one day to be members of the Middle Tennessee Mule Skinners Association.